Welcome to the Great Sound Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One, and we're here with the big man, Lil Easy. What up? Easy. Let's crack into another one. All right, so y'all want to talk about Fortnite. Let's go. I love it. Let's do- <laughs> All right, so apparently there's this creative 2.0 thing. What is this? So it hasn't come out yet, but it's rumored that you can make basically anything you want in the creative. What? It is, it is basically... It's, it's using the new Unreal Engine. Yeah. So. It, what I read is through Epic Games, It um, it's basically you can create whatever you want, like mini games, like in Roblox and stuff like that. You can create your own stuff. And it's rumored that it's going to be linked to the NFT, NFT and blockchain oh, thing geez, so you can, so you can uh, buy and sell all your skins and all that yeah, stuff. And if that's uh-huh. the thing... That's that's mass adoption right there. There's like 300 mass million. adoption. There's like, there's like 30 million people that play or 300 million people that play Fortnite or something, dude. It's ridiculous. Uh, literally a crypto bank just folded and you're like, it has "Oh, mass to do with adop- the crypto. Yeah, but it does have to do with negative PR. Oh, that was that is cuz they're trying to introduce a central bank digital currency, dude. <laughs> Nobody is thinking that at home. Right after the bank crash. There's yeah, nobody like, no, no, was thinking about crypto. Right nobody's now. thinking right, that. Nobody money is in the world of disappearing. Like, just, <laughs> don't even get at me home going right on now. the financial system. Woo! I know. I'm. I'm well, yeah, I know. But nobody is at home is thinking what you're thinking. Because, you're thinking it because you educated yourself on that. I'm telling you what the normal oh, American oh, oh, the human layman, being is yeah, thinking. That doesn't know. This yeah. is I represent ninety percent of the public. Right, right. right you right. represent that ten percent. It's like, well, you know, it has nothing to do with that. This has something to do with this, and eventually, it's going to be nah, bruh. We at home right now. We think it fuck that. You're not wrong. <laughs> All right. You're not wrong. <laughs> Speaking so, of the just, bank system here, what? everyone's worried about the bank crash. Yeah. But no one should be. Because how many of us have a, over the insured amount? No, no. It's like everything is insured to two hundred fifty thousand per know. account. And we're yeah. everyone's over here freaking well, out. I'm like, I don't have enough to worry well, about this. I like, think is really yeah. funny, and more ironic than funny is like, so this bank like dies right because of its bad bets, <laughs> mm-hmm. and then they're just like, oh, this isn't a bailout. We're not bailing this bank out. But then all of a sudden, then they give money to other banks, and all this other bank, another bank is like, hey, we're having a liquidity crisis, and I'm like. Do you not, not realize that like now there's numerous banks coming out talking about how they don't have any damn money and they're like bets are all bad and everyone's just like this is it's like the fucking this is fine meme. There's just like fire and everyone's like this is fine, this is fine. Stock market's going up. No man, this is it's it's gonna it's gonna turn into something bigger than what it is, but it really don't it don't affect the, the normal majority. People. No, it doesn't like, affect your us. average everyday Joe does not but, have to worry like. What I think... Oh, shit, I lost my train of thought. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, this affects uh, normal people. Like, rich people who lose their money, and we're talking about, like, companies, so it's going to cause people to lose their jobs. Mm-hmm. It will affect payroll and whatnot, yes. So yeah. That's what I was... Go- yeah, like, it, it may not affect us, but it will affect us because banks fold, companies fold, people lose jobs, yada, yeah. yada, yada. That's how it affects people like us. Yeah, yeah. So it will, it'll eventually get to that point. Well, but Yeah, just people are worried for the wrong reason in general right now. They're worried about their insured funds, yeah. not about yeah. their company they're, going they're, under. Dude, yeah. your, your 2K in your bank account, ain't, ain't you ain't got to worry about that. What uh, um, It's still going to cause panic, though. And, people, and when people panic and... A lot of people are going to start withdrawing their money, whoever holds that's funds. That's the bank runs, and that's when they get into bigger problems. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I don't but, know, man. But here's the thing. I've been seeing a lot of stuff where, like, banks are sending out, like, emails to their customers being like, we're fine. And the government's like, we're fine. I've always felt when you have to talk about how fine you are, that's usually when you're not fine. Like, when you have to, like, tell everyone yeah. how good you're doing, like, hey, we're doing really good. Don't worry about it. We're great. That's usually when you're, like, at the moment where you're worried about it because, like, you don't want people to freak out. That's the whenever someone at work asks you how you're doing, you're living the dream type thing. Yeah. You only say that if you're <laughs> only, you know, you're barely making it right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, that, it's that drunk girl at the bar. I'm not drunk. Yeah. <laughs> no, I want another beer. I'm not drunk. Oh my god. You remember that? You no, remember that? You remember oh that. Oh my god. When did that happen? Every time you ever went out with no, anybody. I've definitely seen it happen before. I have been at the bar, have the per- like have mm. a friend in the friend group talk about how not drunk they are, and three minutes later they're literally falling off the bar stool, blacked out and have to be carried out of the bar. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, oh, 
See, that's the thing, man. Like when I drink now, I, I like I respect people who have like c- can control their their intake. It's like that that fine like knowledge of knowing your body versus the amount of alcohol that you consume and can still function this is important to me. Not so much like I can get as drunk as I possibly can and act like an ass. <laughs> Is yeah. that, does that make me am I old no, man no, for no, saying no, that? I feel that. That's like, not boomer. I mean, it's boomer, but it's not boomer. Like it's 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 not about how fucked up can you get. It's like how fucked up can you get and still function as a human? Because once someone else has to take care of you, you have broken the the main rule of partying. It's like make someone else take care of your damn ass. Mm-hmm. Like that is the worst thing you can do when you go out partying is make your friend take care of you. Very true. You ever had to have anybody take care of you? Oh yeah, oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. But like when? Uh, well, my twenty first was the one that I remember for sure. Oh, oh, that, I mean, that one doesn't count. Like that Everybody... barely doesn't count. What happened? But... Though? What happened? What happened? What happened? I remember not much. I remember going to the bar. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. The bar that I'd already been to, mind you. Well, Snuck it in before. What was, what was the name of the bar? Oh, you know it's Warehouse. Oh, it was the Warehouse. Of course. Okay, yeah. okay, that's how. Okay, and so. I'd been there before I even turned 21. If we're being Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. B- wait, hold on. Bars yeah. serve people alcohol before they're of age? <laughs> uh, I cannot neither confirm nor deny. Okay. All I've right. Just I just wanted to make place. sure that's that we weren't living say. in a in a false world. No, no. That's all I can say is I've been there. Uh, oh, yeah. You visited before. How much, yeah, yeah, how much yeah, did you have in that one night? Your 21st birthday big um, banner. I didn't have two drinks in my hand. Okay. You didn't have two drinks in your hand? There was never a time I didn't have two drinks in uh, my hand. The second one disappeared. Yeah. Another one was placed in my hand. Yeah. Did you play Edward 40 hands? We were, no, I did not. We didn't have the duct tape, nor the 40s. <laughs> we didn't have the duct tape of Dude, 40. that is a dangerous game. But Edward 40 hands? Yeah. The last thing I remember is going to a Waffle House. Yeah. And trying to slap someone with a giant piece of ham. Ham? <laughs> they brought out the ham. It was the size of the plate. Ham plates. And I was wasted. Yeah. And it was hilarious to me. So I grabbed it. And I Tried just, slapping my friend group with it. like Okay, okay. And, and then you had to be carried home. I'm assuming so. I don't remember much after that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I woke yeah. up at home, so. I woke up at home, so I got there. I made it there, and I know I wasn't driving because I Ubered to the bar originally, so. Mm-hmm. I never played Edward Forty Hands, but when I was younger, the, the Mol- beer Molson Ice, which is Canadian beer, the corner store of my house used to sell 40s of it. And Molson's? it was fo- it, Molson Ice, so it's even higher alcohol yeah, content. Yeah, yeah, they used to sell yeah, yeah. 40s for $4. You could get wow. two 40s of Molson Ice for 8 bucks, And if you drank wow. both of those bees, you were done. Yeah, you'd be done. Done. And what was really awesome is when I was like, when I got to be in like my late 20s, maybe my early 30s, uh, my buddy worked at the liquor store. I hadn't had a Molson Ice 40 in forever. I had him order me a case. So I had eight Molson 40s, and I like I did like a f- four different nights of like drinking two of them. And I was like, <laughs> I remember why I stopped doing this. It's enough carbs for the whole week. <laughs> <laughs> and they get warm really fast, bro. They like, why are you drinking warm. a 40? Like, drink a beer. Why are you drinking? <laughs> That's true. Like, you can't drink a 40 in time for it not to get co- no way. warm. No Right, yeah. Well, there's no way. Yeah, exactly. You can I can barely drink a twelve ounce beer before it gets warm, let alone a forty ounce. Oh no. Oh, I did I did beer bong a forty ounce one time though. A beer an entire forty ounce. A beer bong it took yeah, Jesus, beer bong a whole man. forty. I had I uh it was a very bad idea. Because yeah, I'd already like, been drinking all night. It sounded like one in, in practice. And I remember I uh I did it, I went down to one knee. After I did it, because it was like a lot of liquor or beer. <laughs> you call him Kaepernick. Yeah, I Kaepernick. I put my fist up. <laughs> Kaepernick. <laughs> oh, I like that. It was way before Kaepernick was a thing. And then I stood up and I was like, I remember thinking to myself, my night is over. Like yeah. I stood up and I was like, this is the end. This like the- I was like, well, I was like, who can give me a ride? <laughs> it was immediately. It was like, how do I get home? <laughs> I, why do I feel like I was there for this? It was at, it was at a C Diddy's house. Like, uh, yeah, I could have been there. It's a good chance. I've known this motherfucker for a long time. Yeah. 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 It was. Yeah. And then, Oh, my friend took me home and she took me a taco bell first. It was nice. That's always nice. The food first. Yeah, yeah. And then I went home and ate you the next day. You're like, I'm so glad I ate last night. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was nice. You're drinking a uh, that peanut butter milk stout, right? What did you think of that thing? 
This isn't my favorite one. Not it's not. You know, like I told it, you it didn't taste I, so. Okay, it's it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just a lot. It is a lot. <laughs> it's heavy. It's like you're chewing it. And it so, is. like, you know, it's like crunchy gifs. There's, gr- there's a lot easier drinks to drink. It, it grows on you. It's a little thick. It a, that. grows of, on you. After a couple of them, I'd be drunk enough to drink as many as you handed me. I would not. <laughs> I don't know if I would drink more than like two in a night because it is like a meal. But <laughs> It's like eating a steak dinner. <laughs> it's like it's like drinking. There is a beaver on the can. I could not drink this outdoors in the sun type beaver. No. Oh god, like a hundred and ten <laughs> degree day. Give me that peanut butter milk like, stout. That just sounds <laughs> gross. You know, peanut butter milk stout. Oh my god. What brand is that? You're like seltzers. <laughs> for anyone, for anyone could listening at home, what what's what is the brand of that? Let's see here. Oh my god, that's so funny. Belching Beaver Brewing. Belgian Beavers. Belching Beaver. Belching. Belching Beaver. Belching Beaver. Oh, that, I've had one of them before. That is, it wasn't nice. That is some sexual innuendo <laughs> all over that, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> they might as well just name it Queef. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Can of Queef. On that, on that note, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to crazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. And. Uh, easy. Yeah, we out. <laughs>